Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 27 of this video series. In this session, we will see about set identifiers and significance of each and every identifier. Set identifiers are very important as well as these set identifiers will help you in writing the set analysis code in your expressions in an easy and efficient manner. So let's see how the set analysis syntax will work. So here we have the click view function outside and the brackets will open. So as usual, suppose if you're writing sum of sales, it will be sum of sales. So here you'll have a field name, right? And the curly braces opened after the function opening and the curly braces close before the field. So which will indicate the set expression. So this is what your set analysis is going to be performing on top of the function which you are writing here, right? So here the first immediate one after the curly braces is a set identifier. Before after that we have the set modifiers. So in combination with the set identifier and set modifier and with operators and other functions, we can create complex set analysis expressions in ClickQ. So let's see the example here. So now my intention is I want to have only UK sales apart from the selections. So this is how I'm writing. So we'll see the identifier and the modifiers which we have seen, right? So I, here I'm using the one as my identifier and I'm specifying uh, the modifier with the country equals to UK means my analysis will be setting country uh, for that and it will be sales. So sum of sales for the country UK regardless of the current selections. So that is what the one is. So let's quickly jump into the uh, each and every identifier and their significance. Now, this identifier one, so which indicates it's a full set, right? So identifiers always must be inside the curly braces, right? So let's jump into click and see what is the significance of the full set or else identifier one. So now I'm gonna create a new document and save it as a set analysis and then load some data into it load some sales data we have the country city company lot more fields right so we have fetched the data and then create the list boxes city company state and select them Right now, I'm going to create a simple bar chart. And it will be having country as dimension and sum of sales. Sorry, sum of units sold here. The measure is units sold. So I'll give a proper label for this hash units sold. So measures will be in the starts with hash. So I'm giving here hash. Right. Uh, let's change the label. So legend orientation. X axis legend orientation. Go to presentation. Sorry, access. There you have this access. Right now, this has changed. Right, if you want to have the values on data code points, go to expressions, select the expression, make values on data points. Up. 
checked so now you can see so now we have created a chart with so some expression now i'm going to select some values out here so my the chart which we have created on this layout filtered based on the values that we are selecting on the list boxes now what my scenario is i want to display the sales of all the countries disregards of the selection so what we can do is we can use the full set so our identifier one indicates the full set so identifier should always be inside the curly braces right so here we're going to use the full set so means one and apply it now you can see so even though we have selected a country here it will be ignoring the selections and displaying results as expected so whatever you select it will just simply ignore it right so this is what one will do so the first identifier will do so and let's see the next one so that is a dollar means current selections so dollar symbol identifier um, will include the current selections in the expression so that the chart will be rendered according to current selections so whether you're putting dollar or not it doesn't matter because by default click view charts will capture the current selections for rendering the values or else so uh, let's see what will happen if i put dollar out here apply see now if i select australia then this data will be get filtered right and accordingly so there is no difference between uh, dollar and uh, putting nothing in the expression so dollar indicates the current selections so it will be considering the current selections for this expression right that's what dollar is so let's clear all now see the other ex uh, identifier so that is uh, dollar n so this dollar n is an interesting one it's like uh, the it will uh, consider the nth previous selection for calculating the expression. So the nth previous in the sense, so it will be works similar to back button. Suppose let's jump into quick view. So if I'm selecting Australia and then Canada, then France, right? So Australia, Canada and France. If I click on back button, first it will goes to Canada and then it goes to Australia because the back and forward buttons in click view will be able to remember 100 back and 100 forward selections, right? So here in our scenario, let me clear everything again. Now I'm going to write the identifier here in our expression. I'll put a dollar one right so apply it right if i click on australia it's giving everything because the previous selection is we have cleared everything if we go for canada it, now it has to give us value for australia yes it is giving if i go for france or else if I, if we select list box value as france now it has to render the uh well for canada so this dollar n is functioned as uh, similar to back button right so that's about the dollar n and there is another identifier that is dollar underscore n this is for nth next selection so this is same as the uh, forward buttons functionality so this is opposite to dollar n right so let's see how it will works and most of the scenarios we won't get uh, these dollar n and dollar underscore uh, n into our uh, real-time implementations it's very rare scenarios where you get these uh, into your expressions so let's make it as a uh, dollar underscore one right so now I'll be selecting Australia and then Canada then France then Germany, right? Then 
something. If I go for Australia, or if you click on back, then it will display. So why? Because the forward selection is nothing but the one which have, we have done before the current one. So means if I click on Australia now, it will display. Now if I click on back, now it will say Australia. If I click on France and click on back, it will display France. And the next one is bookmark. So we can use the bookmark ID for imposing the selections on top of the uh, expression that we are writing. So how does it work? Let's uh, jump into click view. So I'll be creating a bookmark here. So what I do is I'll select Australia and then we have two companies out here. Uh, let's select South Australia and then we have only Ford out here. Let's select New South Wales. We have BMW only. Let's select this. So now I'll be creating a bookmark. Either you create, I mean, click on Control B. It's a shortcut for bookmark. Or else you can see the bookmarks here. I mean, uh, in, in option in the file menu, right? So let's write as AUS. Okay, you can include these. It's your wish. And press on OK. And now go to bookmarks. There uh, you can see this Australia. Okay can go for more there you can see the bookmark id right so whether you can specify bookmark name or bookmark id it will uh, uh, works fine but it's better to use bookmark id right so now clear all and then we will be claiming a dollar underscore one okay then book, bookmark bm01 so it will automatically automatically gives you the intelligence so apply let's see now it is giving you australia and for the uh, bmw and new south wales okay so let's check whether this 242 is right or not how can we do that so let's remove the bookmark And then click on Australia, then South Australia, sorry, New South Wales, and BMW. So now 242. It's same, right? So, and if we clear this and apply the bookmark here, so always our identifier should be in between the curly bases. So put BM01 and apply it you get the same value to 42 right so this is how the bookmark uh, identifier will works in uh, click view set analysis so that's all for this session thanks for watching the video please subscribe and share the video